Okay, guys, I've got Cody here. Cody Benz, the one and only. Thanks for coming up here. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> so, what I'm going to have Cody do, Cody, lay on your back for me. And I'm just going to take him into shoulder flexion and see if he's got it. Okay? So, I fix the ribs down. I don't want them to come up because that would be a false negative. Okay? Fix the ribs down, and it's blocked right there. Do you see that? Jay, can you see that? Yep. Okay. Then let's see the other side. This one, so it seems blocked at first, but I can push it a little bit. He's just stiff. He works out a lot. So I'm going to say, got full shoulder flexion here on the right, does not have full shoulder flexion here on the left. So let's try some neuro voodoo. Cody, do you know what a kettlebell pullover is? Yes. Is that weight going to be okay for you? It's going to be good. All right. So I'm going to walk you through how I coach Cody. So first step, give me an exhale, Cody. Now I want you to find your heels in the table for me. Let's bring your knees in just slightly. And now before you go, I want you to find your back, your left back. Because he's asymmetrical, I want him to really focus on this left side because he neglects it. You got your left back in my hand there? I want you to keep that as your reference point. Keep those knees in for me. Now, inhale, let the weight fall back. Pause right there, exhale. Hold that position, hold this reference. Inhale, try to let the weight fall back a little bit more. Exhale, hold that position. You're coming off my hand, don't come off my hand. Just hold that position, breathe in one more time. There you go, exhale. Get all that air out. He's shaking like crazy. Alrighty, relax. Let me take that. Plop. So now, his shoulder's in the right position. We use this reference to position his rib cage, okay? And then we use this as a way to inhibit the lat and to inhibit the pec. And we use the breath to do all that as well, okay? So now he's got it, now he's safe to go. Thank you.